Hey yo, what's good? It's your boy Carlos and I'm back with another tutorial video. Today I'm gonna be teaching you how to create a stamp effect in three different ways. Let's get to it. The first effect that I want to show you is the stamp effect and for this one it's going to be very simple. I have already chosen this photo of this angel and cut it so we can save a little bit of time. We're going to head to image, adjustments, black and white and we're gonna hit auto filter filter gallery and from here we want to click stamp and grain effect i think with two grains and the stamp this looks fine from today's video this effect is the only one that the colors cannot be modified if you would like to see a video of me going more in depth about the colors and how you can create and modify all of the colors with the other two effects, just leave a comment and I'll make a video of it. And here you got the stamp effect. This is the most basic one of today's video and it's also the more that add roughness to your photo. Now I'm going to teach you how to do hard mix effect. Same, photo, image, adjustments, black and white, auto, hit OK. Convert to smart object because we want to edit and see how everything is looking and make adjustment while we're going. Since we already converted our photo into a smart object, let's go ahead, solid color. And from here, we want to choose a color that is between yellow and red. Something around here. And we want to create something in the middle. Hit OK. From the blending mode, we want to choose hard mix. And this can be modified as you can see. This will elevate all of your whites, grays and black of the photo. This looks fine. Hit OK. On top of the hard mix color, black and white. Let's go to the photo. Filter, filter, sharpen on sharp mask. And from here, you want to choose something that looks fine to you. It's starting to get into shape, but right now everything looks very rough. It looks very rocky. It doesn't look quite as green as I want it to look like. So let's zoom out on the photo. Again, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, 1.6. Once again, the photo, filter, from here, we want to add noise. Add noise. We can go back to your color fill, double click, and everything can be modified here. So you can add how much black, how much gray, and how much white you want on your photo. And just to point out the good thing about making a smart object is that we can go back to the Unchart Max, Gaussian Blur, or Add Noise, double click, and edit it as we want to. As I said in the beginning of the video, this effect can be modified and you can play around with the colors and you can make this image with color. Once again, the photo from here, we want to choose black and white effect. And then, posterize, and you can see already that the stamp effects is starting to show. In between the black and white and the posterize, we want to create a new layer and make this layer pure black which is option delete and from these two colors we want to make sure that the white is on top of the black so we can change that with x or hit these two arrows filter filter gallery reticulation from here you can play around with the density since the foreground level and the background level doesn't make anything on this effect. Maybe something about 20%. That's perfect. And from here, what we want to do is basically make the opacity 12% maybe. I want to make sure that this eye is pretty dark. So let's play around a little bit with that. Perfect. Okay. 
if you would like to see a, a video more in depth about how to change the colors on these effects make sure to make a comment like and subscribe thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one